being an indian i always want india to be the top you know when it comes to the advanced manufacturing i always had this uh, uh, you know a uh, challenge that we do not produce we do not manufacture high end products a lot of things needs to be imported but then there is a silent revolution is happening at the strategic city of visakhapatnam it all started because while i was working in the hospital we realized that almost everything in medical technology is imported from outside india now that leads to two problems problem number 1 it is expensive problem number 2 its maintenance cannot be guaranteed problem number 3 spare parts are not available problem number 4 people have to be trained to use it india imports almost 65000 crore worth of medical devices every year this place was started as a solution to these problems to make india from an import dependent destination to a self serving sustainable globally competitive economy in medical technology i have joined here as a opto electronics scientist i used to work with ultra fast lasers <clears throat> setting up a medical imaging facility uh working on cancer research using lasers then uh, i think i had knack for doing multiple things and then <clears throat> dr sharma asked me to look after uh, large projects like electromagnetic compatibility testing center and uh, in vitro diagnostics production center so these two centers have helped a, uh, a, a lot in covid because uh, from that's where we produced millions of rt pcr kits and the uh, ventilators uh, that got tested in this electromagnetic compatibility lab india needs to make up to the make in india initiative and for that raw materials is a very important component right so i work on the raw materials indigenization for many many manufacturing uh, assembly lines and i hope the center i lead which is uh, supported by ministry of electronics and amtz together will bring out a lot of products like this for which we don't need to depend on other countries Five and a half years ago, we started with ten thousand one rupees and a barren land without a phone signal and pin code. Our letters wouldn't come because we didn't have a pin code, no water, no electricity, no road. Today we are a city in itself, six thousand people, ten thousand crore of cluster turnover, hundred and forty-five companies making us the world's largest medical technology zone, and two unique characteristics. One, this is the only zone in the world. where we produce from a mask to an mri machine and two we are the only cluster in the world which has a who center and a world trade center truly bringing science and business together we at mtz techport takes care of medical device development which is indigenous so before this there was lots of medical imports but now when we started at aimed that we are started working on medical device starting from class a to class c except implants what what do we do so basically we take up into four segment that is define develop deliver deployment when we say define we understand the concept which will be the user and functional requirement based on that we develop the basic prototype once we show the prototype we do a functionality testing that is as per iso and we develop a complete prototype and give it to manufacturers so at techpod we basically develop 16 products out of which eight we have given to the zone and all the eights are patented so when when someone wants to develop a product they can reach us at amtz citizens and patients could come here to benefit from access to technology like a hearing aid which india used to import for 13000 rupees we make for 2000 rupees 1900 rupees to be precise patients could benefit by access businesses could benefit by investment if they produce here 
the cost of production can be reduced by 40% because of the technological capacity that we have built in this zone. And three, hospitals should visit here to benefit from the good quality, low cost medical technology that can reduce the capital of running and setting up a hospital by more than 50%. At Bio Valley, we support startups who are developing their technologies in the domains of biotechnology, life sciences, in convergence with medical technologies, startups who bring up technologies in regenerative medicine. Medi Valley Incubation Council falls under the Atal Innovation Commission and the Atal Innovation Mission. And Medi Valley Incubation Council, it nurtures those startups who are into medical technologies, the pure medical technologies or convergence into other domain functions, but still covering the healthcare technologies on, on a whole. The beauty here for this bio incubator and the medical technology incubator is that we are nurtured by the AMTZ ecosystem. Pan India, we have all different types of incubators and accelerators. But here, AMTZ's ecosystem with its 23 scientific facilities helps to integrate every aspect of the product lifecycle development here at one place. Today I am at the AMTZ and I had the opportunity to meet Dr. Jitendra Sharma. It was an excellent day a day spent beautifully. So of course, it's the vision of really the startup, which is the AMTZ, uh, which Dr. Sharma had, but how he's able to translate it and how he's able to engage every work. I believe the fact that everybody's actually laid the bricks, the brick and mortar work physically was done by team members. The fact that each team is, you know, engaged daily, every a building that is made, how many days it took to make that building is actually written on the building. So it's very exciting and inspiring to see that every building wants to be faster than the other. So it's all about time, timelines. And the beauty of what he said, it's easier to do it in scale, to sustain and to grow. So that was something very exciting to hear. Plus there is sustainability to the whole story. So every little thing like that is what makes, I think, AMTZ really stand out for me. The message to budding makers, engineers, startups, entrepreneurs is one, find a problem statement which is truly reflective of societal problem. Step two, convert that problem statement into a bed of solution. And three, commercialize the solution in such a way that the end product or service becomes more affordable. India used to import MRI scan for 6 crores. Today, they are exporting for 2.8 crores these MRI products which is built here in the city. The conviction and the belief of leaders like Dr. Jitendra Sharma is actually transforming India. <laughs>